Hi guys, so today is just a little project share video. I wanna share with you some things I've created using my KS Craft dies that I shared a video with um, earlier or previously. Um, so Hannah reached out to me, asked me if I'd like to guest design. Um, and so she sent me the October Christmas release. Um, so it's a bundle and I didn't get every single one of the dies in the bundle, but you can pick up this bundle for $40, you guys, on her website. Um, and again, it's called the uh, Christmas October release. And um, so I'm gonna share some of the projects I have made with this. This one is probably my favorite right here because it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so I want to share, I did do an unboxing video, but I wanna show anyway, just in case you haven't seen it, what dies um, I use. So, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the bundle that I received right here, right? And on her website, I'm gonna have the, the bundle linked so you can check it out on her website. It does show just a few more dies in the set that I did not get. I think there's maybe like two. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna share with you the camera one because it's so cute. It's like a little Instax Polaroid camera. And so you're, you use this to create a mini album, right? But I used it to create a little memory deck card. Um, and really, I mean, you can use this however. You can make little boxes. Um, I'll insert a picture right here so you can see the little box that I'm referring to. It comes with all these pieces. You can turn it into a shaker, you guys, which I think is amazing. Um, you've got this little pocket right here that it comes with. You've got the lens. This is what the lens looks like. Um, the little, just the little detail piece that goes on the side right here, this piece right here. Um, the piece that you can use for your binding, I believe, for your pages. Um, and then just some detail button pieces that it comes with. And then these two right here, you guys, which I think is so cute. So I need to cut this piece out. I forgot to cut that piece out to add it right here so you can know to pull on it. But I love that it comes with these two sizes for your picks. And then this is what I made, you guys. Look at how cute this is. Isn't this so cute? <laughs> I think it's so cute. So I made a little strap for it, just a little paper strap, and I hung it on there with a little ribbon clip. And I actually put a pop dot on there, a foam square, so that when I took my picture, it would stay in place. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. And then I added this dangle that I received in a swap that I hosted. Um, I just love it so much. I love the, the blue color, the reds and the pinks. And then I just added a little cabochon here. And then in here, you can pull this out. Isn't that so cute? And you can add your picture here or, um, you know, journaling. I just thought it was so cute. And so see, I need that little arrow that goes right there. I just think this is so cute. And then I just used my um, Heidi Swap Memory Dex Punch to create the little uh, Memory Dex holes at the bottom. So I just am in love with this. It's so, so cute. So I wanted to share that one. Okay, and so next up, I'm going to share these tag dies. These are the ones I'm featuring today, this little tag flip right here. But I did use quite a few to fill up the tag flip. So these are some scalloped nesting dies, tag nesting dies. It comes with these little pieces right here, and I'll show you what you'll need these for. So these you're going to use... On your layering piece if you want to add a hole in there okay so see these you get a large a medium and a small and the large is about six and three quarters inches long so under seven inches this is the large and it's got the scallop detail but notice it doesn't have that little opening here so that's what you're going to use this for um, and then this is the layering piece and the layering piece has a stitched detail to it. So you've got the scallop and the stitch detail. And then this you use to cut your little hole on your bottom piece. So again, you get the large, medium, small. Here's the large. This is the medium one. And again, it's the two pieces. And this one measures about five and a half inches, a little under five and a half. And then you've got the small baby one. And I just love the shape and the style of these tags. They're adorable. Perfect for tag flips, tag mini albums. This is about four and a half inches. Um, and then the width, I didn't give you the width. This one's about three. This one is about four. And then the larger one is five. So three, four, five. <laughs> um, and I just love it, you guys. Look at how it cuts out. 
Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to open this up so I can show you these tags. Look, at I added a little shaker mix and a little beaded candy cane. Love that. And then here are my tags. I'm going to take them all off so that we can look at these. Take a good look at these. I cut them out in acetate for my bows. Oh, this is falling off. Let me stick that back on. Okay. So this is the largest one right here, right? And you guys, look at how pretty this is. So what I did is I added a little bag topper to the top, and then I sandwiched my um, self-seal bags in between the bag topper um, just so that it could do like a little waterfall effect. I wanted to hold my embellishments in there. And so I just have some die cuts in here, and then you can open them at the bottom and just take those out. But I mean, I just love the size of this. I love this for a little mini album or like how I used it, you know, as a tag book um, to send some die cuts in. Super cute, right? And so on the back side, I just added one of those little Target pockets. It says, oh, by golly. And then I have a little Santa tag in there. And this is where you can do your to and from, which I think is so cute. So cute. Um, so yeah, you can, you know, do the front and the back of each one of these tags. That's the large one. And then this is the medium one. Look at how adorable this is. So this one has two little shakers on it. And then in the back, I have another one of those little pockets and just a little bag topper. I love this bag topper. I think it's so cute. Um, and I'll share these dies with you as I go, but I just wanted to show you, you know, the size of each tag. So this is the small one. And I just added some little tags to this one. And I think the size is just so cute. And then I just did a little embellished scene in the back. Super cute, right? And then this is um, what it looks like cut out of acetate. Just a small tag. This is just the layering piece. I didn't cut out the, the scalloped one. I just think I love this bow, you guys. Okay, so those are all the tags, right? Now let's get into what's on the tags. So, okay, so next up, I want to share with you these bows. They come in a small, a medium, and a large, and they're sold separately. And then these are the pieces right here. Let me show you what it comes with. So, you know, these are called the Christmas Drippy Bows. And these are the pieces it comes with. And it, this is the medium one. So it comes, like I said, there's a small, a medium, and a large. You'll get this bow piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. This, um this bow tail right here the bow center and then you get the drip pieces for the bow tail and the bow so this will layer onto your bow and then these pieces right here will layer onto your um bow tail and so see that little corner right there that goes on the left and this one this little point right here will go on the right and that's how it fits right on there that's what it's going to look like right this is what the pieces cut out like the little drip just like that and then this is the center it's just a strip of paper and then this is what they look like so this is the small isn't it so adorable and poofy <laughs> the medium and the large so let's get an idea of what these measure so from here to here this small one is two inches from the tail to you know on the tail from the this point to this point of the tail and then from here to here, it's about three inches. Super cute, right? And then I'm gonna assume this one is about four. What's well, about three and a half? So two, three, three and a half. And they are just so cute, you guys. So, so cute. I love them. This one I was trying to add some tool to. Um, but yeah, they are just adorable. So cute. I love the little drip. And see how this corner does add up and that corner adds up to there. So just because it was a little confusing to me at first to see you know how these were how to place the little drip on the tail um but yeah they look so so cute okay so next up we have this one right here it's a little santa gumball machine and it's teeny tiny it's adorable so the size of this is uh right under three inches so it's about two and three quarters and it is just so cute you guys and then in width it's right under two inches so it is teeny tiny like it's adorable it comes with all the gumball pieces but then it also comes with this little santa hat so you can you know turn this into a christmas themed gumball machine and so this is how i packaged it up on my tag flip i think it's so cute let me take one out so i can show you 
Um, I love that little jingle bell. <laughs> it's adorable. So look how tiny this is, you guys. Isn't that so sweet? Just a really sweet embellishment. Like if you have like some sort of candy store pick or something like that that you want to document, this would be so cute to add in the corner of your picture and just add a whole bunch of candies around it. So sweet. Um, I just think it's adorable. I love the little Santa hat and just the size of it is perfection. So that is the little gumball. I'm just going to tuck it right in here. This is a really cute embellishment for your December daily. Okay, and again, that is how I packaged it up. I just did like a little waterfall and I created two. Okay, and next up is this little mustache. It's a, a Santa mustache bag topper. Um, and so it just comes with this piece right here and the little nose. And this measures about four inches and then it's gonna be about an inch and a half wide once you fold it. And so this is what I did with mine. Let me show you this larger one right here. So see, this is the little mustache uh, bag topper and see how it opens up right there? I just sandwiched my bags in there with double-sided tape. It's super thin and cute for small packages like this. And then I just added a little Christmas tree, my little Santa hat, and I cut out these uh, Santa glasses on my um, silhouette. So that is what the bag topper will look like. I think it's adorable. I didn't add the nose to this one, um, but I just think it's so cute. I love the little glasses on there. And I did the same thing for all three tags. Okay, so moving on, we have this Joy bag topper and I have it on the back right over here. It's adorable, you guys. Look how cute this is. So it opens up just like that. Um, you can turn the O into a little shaker and then you just have the layering pieces for the J-O-Y. And I just added a little twine and a little jingle bell and I just think it's adorable so this is going to be about three and three quarters uh long and two inches in height about two inches in height let me show you the pieces that comes with so you get your bag topper piece right here and then your layering pieces and you get these two so that you can make your little shaker so I cut my acetate using this whole piece and then just the trim using this one. And it's got a stitched detail to it and it's just really cute. Really cute, you guys. So that's the Joy Bag Topper. Moving on, we have this star uh, bow right here. It comes with the base pieces, the bow, the center, and the tail. And then you get the layering pieces. Um, and the layering pieces have a star detail that cuts out on them. So this is what it looks like, you guys. It is adorable. So pretty and I love how, you know, you get the little pops of color in the center. So this is about two inches. Actually, it's about an inch and three quarters. And then um, in height, it's about two and a half inches. So it's a really good size. I, I think it's just so darling. So, so cute, right? I love it. Next up, we have these Christmas word dies right here. So you've got Believe, Mary, Holly, um, or is it Jolly? Oh my gosh, Jolly. Uh, what is this one? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, what fun and sleigh ride. And these all come with the shadow pieces as well, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six word dies with the layering pieces. And this is what they cut out like. Isn't that so pretty? Believe, and there, it's a big font. Um, let me see, it's about an inch, right? And then they're, they're pretty big. Um, so, and like they vary, it just depends, you know, on the letters and the words. So you've got this one, ho, 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 jolly. I really love these. Mary, they just are so bright and stand out so much because of the size. So this one say, says sleigh ride and oh, what fun. And so I had just stuck them in this little tag flip back here um, because it's a little die cut gift that you can send to your swap partners. I just thought that was super adorable. I love, you know, how they stand out like that. I just think they're so cute. We have this little truck add-on. So this is just the add-on to the truck. She has a little truck and it's got several add-ons like Halloween, fall, and this Christmas one. So you get the little license plates. It says Jesus, Jolly, Mary, Santa. You've got candy canes, little gift boxes. Um, this is what they cut out like. And then you have a snowflake. Um, you've got this little gingy that has a little frosting detail and a bow tie, the layering piece for the license plate, a sleigh, a Christmas tree. So for this one, I just cut out the Christmas trees 
and used them as little layering pieces because um, I didn't get the truck I just got the, the add-on but you are able to use those add-ons separately you know you don't necessarily need the truck although I think it would you know be so cute to do the little truck and I'll insert a picture here so you can see what the truck looks like um, so yeah this is what I did I just made some little tags using the Christmas tree and the little license plates and then like I said I used them as a layering piece on my bag topper so those go right in here I think those are really cute little tags you can create you know little tag embellishments with this die set and finally we have these ruffle die sets right here so you've got this medium one these two come together and then these are sold separately this thinner smaller one so let me show you what I made with those they are really cute little embellishments I can get them out of here um, they are just so sweet you guys let me place them on my little magnetic sheet So this is the larger one, let me put, and it's layered, it's about four inches, uh, under four inches, maybe like three and a half, right? Yeah, maybe three and a half. Um, that's the larger one, and then it's about an inch in width, and this is three quarters of an inch in width, the smaller one, and it's um, the same length as the larger one. It's just the width that's going to vary, and they are just so darling, you guys, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I love the detail on it. I love that you can layer them. You can use them separately. You don't have to necessarily layer them. Like you can use these pieces separately from the scalloped edged one. Um, they do emboss the folds on your paper so that you know you know where to fold your little ruffle. So I just think they're darling. They're super sweet. So again, these are all from KS Craft. I'll have the bundle linked in the description of this video so you can check it out. Um, I do have a few more dies that I need to share from that bundle. I've got these two right here. I've got this little Santa mini album and that will come in a later video. And then I have this little um, pop-up card. Um, I think it's just to hold like a little gift card or um, something like that and it pops up. So I still have those two to share with you, but I pretty much used all of this bundle, you guys. <laughs> it was a lot of dies. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.